Hey guys, it's Amanda. So I have a huge, kind of huge, it's kind of big. Um, well, I have a really big collective haul for you guys. Um, it's not like super collective, like I kind of bought it in the same week or two. But I didn't buy this all at one time. Um, I was determined to make a haul for you guys since I was sick during IMAT and I couldn't go so there would be no IMATS haul. And no, I didn't just buy all this stuff just so I could make a haul on it. Like, I really did want all of this stuff. Um, I just thought it was the appropriate time for me to buy it. So I decided to buy it, and I am pretty sure I'm going to New York IMAT. So look out for that one. Um, I don't know all the details. It's in April. Not exactly sure if I'm going, but most likely. Um, yeah, so most of this is makeup, but I got a little bit of fashion kind of related stuff so I'm just gonna start out with that because it's not as much from Forever 21 oh yeah in this background I know it's not perfect um, it's kind of wrinkly I still haven't got a steamer I need to get a steamer to fix it and I know you guys might not like white backgrounds all the time I I personally like seeing like the room in the background but um, I don't really have room to put my lights in there and I need my lights. So I'm in my sister's room right now. She just left to go back to college. So I just set this up behind her wall. I'm going to try to get like different colors for the background because it's really easy to get stuff for that. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to work around with it and then you'll slowly be seeing it getting a lot better. So anyways, back to it from Forever 21. I picked up just two things. I got this sweater. I thought like I really needed a new sweater. I only have like one really good sweater that I wear and obviously I can't wear it like all the time. So this one is just like peachy colored and then on the shoulder it has these gold studs. Um, so yeah, it looks like that. It is really long, but I like to tie it like you grab it at the end. You kind of like tie it in a knot. It's, it's hard to explain, but I like to tie it. And I like it to be long. So yeah, this is really cute. This keeps squeaking. And then I just got this Peter Pan collar necklace thing. Um, it's just black with gold studs on it. Because um, I like to wear, if I wear a sweater kind of things or some shirts I wear, I like to wear like shirts that have collars underneath them because I think it looks cute. But sometimes it'd be, no, all the time it would just be easier to wear this. So you just like little latch thing and you just put it on like a regular necklace wear your sweater or shirt or whatever and then it looks like you're wearing um, a shirt underneath and it has like a little cute collar so that's really cute um, this was actually $15 which is pretty expensive for like a necklace thing but yeah then if you guys don't already know what this blue polka dot bag is I got a Rebecca Minkoff purse. I really really needed a new purse. My purse was my mom's and it was tiny, nothing fit in it. So I got this one. It is black and it has a gold chain. I think this is like awesome. Like it fits perfectly around me and it has like these zippers. I think that's really cute. It's like they don't actually like, oh you can actually, I didn't know that. Okay well you can put something in this pocket like the first one. But you can't put it in these other ones, which sucks. But that's okay. It's just one big one. And then, I mean, just black. Pretty decent size. I can fit my necessities in there. So I really like that. And look out for a what's in my purse soon. I wanted to do one for so long, but I've been using this tiny little purse. And I couldn't fit all the things that I wanted to fit in there. So once I can actually fit them all in here, then I'll do a what's on my purse. What's on my purse? What's in my purse? Okay, so some of you guys were confused, but Saturday was a style haul party that I uploaded that video of me getting... Sorry, there was a buzz. So Saturday was the style haul party that I uploaded a video of me getting ready for. And um, I didn't go to IMATS. I wasn't even planning on going to the IMATS that day because they were sold out. Like, the ticket was sold out. But then um, I was planning on going on Sunday, but I got sick Saturday night and Sunday day, so that's why I couldn't go to IMAX. So, for those who were confused, but then I, from the Style Hall party, I got these Julep nail polishes. These, it just like says Style Hall on it, the sticker kind of thing. And it comes with three of them. I already opened it. And 
haven't used them yet, but I love Julep nail polishes. They're so good, and they're actually kind of expensive, so that's why I was like, whoa, when these were in here. So this one is just a black sparkly color. This one is like reflective, like has some green reflectives in it, but it's white. And then this one's just a green color. And then I did some major drugstore shopping for makeup because I usually... Oh, it's in a Sephora bag. That doesn't really make sense. But um, I just put it all in this Sephora bag, so that's why it's in the Sephora bag. But I haven't really... Like, I don't have that much stuff from drugstore for makeup-wise, so I decided that I should probably stock up and get some so I can use them in my tutorials because I know you guys like it better when I use drugstore stuff. Um, but I first got these two mascaras because I love mascaras, but I haven't really got real, like, new mascaras in a while. So I got the Maybelline The Rocket Volume. It's just this blue one. It's shaped weird. Like, the top is really shaped weird. But, um, yeah, I've used it a couple times. I, I like it. It's pretty good. Um, it's not really anything that I'm like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. But it's still, like... It's still pretty good. Um, and then I got this Rimmel London Scandalize, which is this orange one that is giant. Um, my friend Jaden had it, and she said that it was, like, really, really good. But I feel like it's kind of dry. Like, I don't know. It just feels, like, dried out and kind of not as wet. You know how there's some wet mascaras and some that aren't as wet? Like, this is, like, pretty dry. Then I just got this um, Moroccan oil from... Organics, yeah, it's just this Moroccan oil. It's not the um, like this is like the cheaper version, like the drugstore version version. But I still wanted to get some type of Moroccan oil, so I got this one. Then I got this Revlon Color Stay lipstick. I haven't tried it yet, but this is in the color zero two five Socialite. So it's just kind of like a nudish, like darkish nude. If you, I don't know, you can see it. Don't really. I don't get why we like try to explain the colors when it's a video, like you can see it. Like it just looks like that. <laughs> and then I got three of these Maybelline Color Tattoo. These are cream eyeshadows. I decided that I wanted to start a little collection with these. I have the Bad to the Bronze one, um, and I love cream eyeshadows, like i rather have cream eyeshadows than regular eyeshadows. It's just like one step, like it's just all one step and it lasts a really long time. So I got this blue one, and this is in Electric Blue. This nude one, and this is in Barely There. And then this Icy White one in Too Cool. So yeah, um, I'm really excited to use these. I am wearing the Barely There one right now underneath the um, eyeshadow, but I'm not close enough for you to see it. Then I got an Infallible eyeshadow from from L'Oreal I think um, it's just like this grayish blue color and I really like um, these eyeshadows I have one in a nude color that I used to use all the time but then I stopped but I decided that I would get another one because I like them and I don't have a color like this at all then I got a Maybelline Eye Studio quad um, it just has these four colors in it and it's in copper chic um, I have this one I have one of these in another color scheme um, and I really like it so I decided to get this one too it's like has the perfect colors together it has like a pinkish color and then brownish so this would be good for Valentine's Day I don't know might see it in tutorial then I got this L'Oreal um, lip lip gloss slash stain that's a mouthful it's just this dark purple color. Um, I'm really into dark, dark purple colors. I wanted like an opaque dark purple lipstick, but I couldn't find one anywhere. I got, I went to MAC and I was like, oh, can I get this one? And they're like, oh, we're out. Like, okay, of course, once I find one that I want, it's out. But this is this color and it's called Berry Persistent. Ha ha ha, I get it. But it has like a weird applicator. You see that? But... It doesn't, like, it obviously doesn't show up like this. It's more of a reddish berry color when it's on. Um, I really like these, actually, because it, like, 
is lipstick and then once it starts to wear off it's like a stain. I had it on today but I ate and then it was like kind of awkward like kind of on my lips and then kind of not but since it was a stain it wouldn't come off. That's the only downside but I actually really do like these. From CVS they actually sell fake eyelashes. I didn't know they did that. So I got these Ardell ones and these are the um, 305. I think these are like the half lash. They look a little bit longer than, no, these aren't half lash. Oh, I thought, I thought they were like the ones that you just put on the corner of your eye, but they're longer than that. So I don't know. I might cut them so they are like that. They didn't have any ones that were shorter than this, but I wanted something a little bit more, um, natural if I were to wear fake eyelashes. Like I don't want something like completely like fake eyelashes, you know, I want something more like natural. If you you get what I'm saying. And then I picked up some nail polishes, and these are all from Essie. This one has a little smiley face on the top of it because it was 20% off. That's like how they marked it when it was 20% off. And it's just this pink color, and this is in Cruise Control. And I decided to get these two because they were pastel and that would be good for spring. And it's good to go from like winter to spring like with pastel colors like this. Like, so it's not like completely bright like, oh, it's spring, but it's not dark like oh it's winter you know <laughs> um but this is just a pastel teal and this is in who's the boss and then this pastel purple one is love and acceptance so yeah these are so cute and i can't wait to use them now for what i got from sephora um I got a couple of things. I always go in there and I'm like, oh, makeup, like everything I want. And then once I start like picking stuff out, I can't really find anything. I know that sounds weird because I like all makeup, but it's really expensive. Anyways, I still found a ton of stuff to buy, so don't worry. Don't worry. Um, so I got this Clarisonic head um, for my... Clarisonic. I've been using it a lot more than I used to. I used to like never use it. So I had the same head from the whole time I've had it, which is gross, but I didn't use it as much. Like you're supposed to change it like every three months or something. Um, and obviously I didn't do that. I've had it for like a year, but I didn't even use it for three months in a row at all. Like I don't think I've used it as much as someone who would have used it straight in three months. Anyways, it's still gross, but yeah, so I bought a new one, and this one is for sensitive skin. Oh, so it's a wrapper. But yeah. Then from Benefit, I got this how to be, how to look the best out of everything. And it, it looks like the book thing, but you really just, just open it. Um, ooh, tips and tricks. But yeah, so it looks like a book, which is really cute. And, whoa more tips and tricks so I wanted all of to try all of these things in here so I really I have the poor for poor professional like I had a mini one like before but then I ran out of it and I loved it so much so I was about to buy the big one but then I saw this so I thought like this would work oh that's cool shows me what's in there um so I got to so that comes in there so I can use that and then a little mini hello flawless oxygen wow I'm so excited to try this because I really, really want to try that foundation. And I needed some new foundation because it's winter now. Well, it's been winter. And I'm getting, like, really pale. So this is the one in light because I'm just so pale now. And then it comes with these two Boing concealers. Um, a powder and then a little powder brush. So this is, like, a complete set of everything you need. Then I got this Tarte Amazonian Clay 20, 12 hour, not 24 hour, 12 hour blush. And this one is in Blissful. I've used this. I just put it back in here so it, you, know, you can tell. It's just, just what you do for hauls. Um, so it looks like this. And I actually like these so much more than I expected to. Um, a lot of people have used these, so I'm like, okay, I have to try it out. But it was so expensive too. But I'm like, you know what? Still going to try it out. So it just looks like that, and this stuff lasts so long. It lasts way longer than my NARS blushes, um, so that rocks. Like, I'll put my NARS blush on, and then I'll get to school, and then it will look like I'm not wearing anything. So this rocks because you can actually tell that I'm wearing blush. Next, I got a Clinique Chubby Stick. Um, it's kind of like... 
it just looks like this. It's a chubby stick. This one's dark purple, like I said, how I was, like, obsessed with it. But it doesn't show up dark purple at all. Like, I'm rubbing it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And, like, that's all that showed up. Um, so it's just kind of, like, really moisturizing, but just a little bit of color. So that's why I got such a dark one, because... So it would show up a little bit more, and um, it still moisturizes your lips. I don't like to wear anything sticky to school, which is every day, so that I thought this would be pretty useful. Then I got the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I heard so much good stuff about this, so I had to try it. Um, I'm wearing it right now, but again, I put it in the box because that's what you do for hauls. So I got the Their Real Mascara. Um, this one is definitely more of a wetter wet to, is that I feel like that's not a word but it's more wet of a consistency and I really like it um, I still have to work around with like what mascaras work best with each other or work best with this because I like to use more than one mascara to make my eyelashes look a lot longer because I don't have very long eyelashes they're kind of just like so I like to use like as many mascaras as I can then this is probably one of the things I'm most excited for which is pretty dumb but um, I got this NARS eyeshadow primer. I have been seeing this so much and I wanted to get it but it's so expensive and I always, I have always, always had some type of primer in my drawer so I'm just like, I don't really need it but then I'm just like, this is supposed to be really good so I might as well try it out and I don't really like the other ones that you have to squeeze out. I like ones that have a little, little stick like that. So this is perfect, and I can't wait to try it out and see how it lasts. It better work good, because it costs a lot of money. <laughs> and lastly, from Sephora, I got this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. So this is just a moisturizer, and it's for dry skin. I have pretty dry skin. It's not, like, crazy dry, but it has been lately um, with the weather and stuff. I heard... I saw Hello Katie XO use this like a long time ago, so when I saw it, I'm like, hey! And then um, at Sephora it showed like the best like moisturizers, and this was one of them, and it was the cheapest, and it was the biggest size. So I chose to get this one. Uh. So yeah, and then lastly, I got one thing from MAC, and this is like, woo! I'm so, so, so excited for this. Um, I've never heard of this before, so that I probably should have done some type of research before I got it. But I don't know, I just saw it there, I'm like, wow, this looks... I can't get it out. I was like, wow, this looks so useful. And I heard MAC um, concealers are pretty good. So this is a concealer palette. Um, of course, in light, because I'm so pale now. But it just has... Let's see, NC15, uh, W10, which is probably NW10, maybe, I don't know, NW20, and, and C20, and W20, sorry, corrections, that's the top four, and then the bottom is like pale yellow and pale pink, those, I know the pink one is supposed to cover up, um, dark circles more, the yellow, I don't know, I have to do some research on that. But I just thought this would be useful. Comes with a lot of concealers, and I am a concealer junkie. That's like, if I could have only one makeup product ever, I would definitely choose concealer. Because I think it is a hereditary kind of thing in my family. I just have the worst under eye circles ever. I'm not sure if you could tell, like, right now. But I put a ton of concealer on, and you could still see my dark circles. Like, doesn't matter what time of the day. doesn't matter if I woke up and I'm just so tired. That's why I have dark circles. Or it's in the middle of the day when I have a ton of coffee. Yes, I know, that's bad. It doesn't matter if, like, it's in the middle of the day and I'm wide awake, my eyes will still have the same dark circles I would have in the morning. So, I have to put a lot of concealer on, and then when you put too much concealer on, it looks cakey and then it looks weird. So, I just wanted to find one that's, like, really good that I can use and stick with. Woo! Finally! So that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so, so much for watching. Bye. Mwah.